For this project, you will need paper, watercolors, a crayon, markers, yarn, and paper clips. You also, scissors and a hole punch are optional, and you may need an adult to help cut or punch holes. This project is inspired by Asian cultures and prayer flags. Many countries such as India, Tibet, and Nepal have a tradition of hanging flags as a part of their prayer. Your religion and belief system is a part of your culture. Our family prays to God, others pray or have other traditions. In this project, we will be writing words that represent our prayers or wishes and hanging them to remember. I chose the words hope and peace and drew a heart for my three larger flags. And the smaller flags, I just put designs and textures on them that we have been practicing in these classes. Did you notice what happens if you draw with a crayon and then put water on top of it? Hmm, this is science. Wax is in the crayon and wax and water do not work together. The wax repels or resists the water. Have you ever tried to mix oil and water together? It doesn't work. This is very similar. The watercolors are made of water and the wax is an oilish substance. You can see here that they don't work. We, I will do several layers and you can watch each one. As you work on your flags, you can let each layer dry. With watercolor, the paint, the pigment, the color goes where there is water. If you let it dry, you'll have more control. Also, make sure to let it dry before using your pen or sharpie. It is possible that your pen or sharpie may not work on the areas that have wax on them. We talked about colors in the first project. Do you remember the difference between warm and cool colors? Do you see warm colors on these flags? Yes, the red. Do you see cool colors on these flags? Blue and purple, excellent. What colors are you choosing? Are you choosing complementary colors? Or are you choosing monochromatic? Or did you pick a completely different color scheme? Any of these options are fine. This project is once again about play and fun, but also thinking about the family values and culture. You can continue to play with layers of paint and wax and marker until you feel like you are finished. Once you are done, take your clips and your string and you can attach the paper to the string in a variety of ways. I used three different types of clips here, all things that I found at home. I have clothespins, paper clips, and butterfly binder clips. Any of these options will work once they are hung up on the wall. You also could tape or glue the string. And a final option, which you will see in a minute, is putting holes into the flags themselves and running the string through it. You may need to ask an adult for help. And share with our family and friends. You can share your traditions with others. What is something your family believes in? Do you practice a religion or have a specific belief system? Talk about your family's beliefs tonight when you see them. This is a part of your family's culture. <laughs>